Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Ash, and coming back at you with another YouTube video. Uh, wait, that's not how I usually introduce myself in these kind of videos. I say, yo, 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 what's poppin', YouTube? But anyways, whatever, man. Today, we'd be ranking some Slipknot albums. Just, I don't know, I don't know why I decided I wanted to rank some Slipknot albums. I just say, what the hell not? I haven't made a video in, like, a month. No. I think five weeks is the last time I uploaded that Pixar video. I tried making a, a Taylor's video not so long ago, but it ended up being 40 minutes long. And nobody want, wants to watch a 40 minute long tearless video. So I decided to delete that and do a different tearless video. And I decided we're just going to roll a slipknot because it seems easy enough to do so. Um... What to say about Slipknot? Slipknot, a uh, popular band, probably needs a little introduction. Any kid that knows music or heavy metal music should know but Slipknot already. If you haven't, check them out. They're pretty good. Um, they're very popular in the late or the late '90s, early 2000s period. There, that was their prime. Um, they were lumped in with the other new metal bands or whatever you want to call it, the, uh, the bands in that um, generation. However, I look at them as the top, of, uh, I look at them on top of the other bands um, during that uh, time period, you know, when, you know, new metal was booming, uh, you know, we got bands like Stained, Korn, uh, Limp Bizkit, you know, bands like those coming out at the same time around Slipknot was coming out. Um, Slipknot was coming out at the height of it. However, nothing. I think Corn is almighty gods of new metal. I think Slipknot are number two with System of a Down reading right behind them. Uh, I really like Slipknot. They're very different compared to the other ones. I really like their style um, and the way they play their music. Uh, I absolutely love their live performances. Um, just nine dudes jumping around on stage. Going crazy, banging drums, playing guitar, not to mention Corey Taylor is a madman. Joey Jordison is one hell of a drummer. drummer. It's sad that um, Joey Jordison did not make the cut on their newest record, We Are Not Your Kind. Um, however, Jay Weinberg, I think that's his, yeah, Jay Weinberg is also a pretty notable drummer, which I will get into once we get into that album. So we just got the normal tier listings. We got S, A, B, C, and D. Um, but yeah, let's, let's just get right into the juice, my friends. First up, we got All Hope is Gone. Now, I can believe that this can easily be their worst record out of all of them. 2008 release, All Hope is Gone. Uh, I think this was the first record that got me into Slipknot if I'm not mistaken. I remember I don't I remember hearing the song Psychosocial for the first time. I was like, man, this stuff slaps, you know? However, as I took a listen to this whole album and compared it to the rest of their discography, I believe it is the weakest of them all. Um however, it is I wouldn't say it's a terrible record. It's not like Saint Anger uh terribleness on those levels of badness whatever you want to call it it's not absolutely terrible it's just a very mediocre record for me um there's some notable songs like psychosocial like i mentioned earlier uh snuff um man there's so many other songs i haven't listened to it in so long but i mean all in all it's just a very mediocre record um I th this is the um i believe the last uh time actually I didn't. I wasn't very f a huge fan of Corey Taylor's mask in this one. I'll, I'll mention the masks in the other albums too. I'll I'll talk about those as well. But um, however, I didn't really like Corey Taylor's mask on this one, but not as bad as the "We Are Not Your Kind" one, which we'll get into later. I'm just gonna leave it in the D tier. It's um, which is pretty much garbage tier in this one, but it's not terrible. If there's an F tier, I wouldn't put in there. Moving on. Up next, we got Volume 3, The Subliminal Verses. Now, this is going to be a very controversial uh, 
placement that I'm going to be putting here. Volume 3 is a solid record. I believe this is with their, their absolute peak. Um, Slipknot was on top of the world at this point in time. They, I believe I'm going to put this in the B tier. Solid B tier. Very middle of the road. Whoops. It is, um, in some eyes of Slipknot fans, a masterpiece. This is like, some consider this their best album. However, I like to disagree on that. Um, I really like, uh, I prefer Old Slipknot over anything else. Um, and this is definitely some Old Slipknot, but I believe uh, their catalog on this album is pretty, I would say it's very middle, it's very mix and match for me. Um, it's got a lot of great songs on there. I, I It's probably got one of my favorite Slipknot songs on there. It's Pulse of the Maggots. I always get pumped up every time that song comes on. Pulse of the Maggots. Look it up. Not to mention there's um, Before I Forget. Um, the Nameless. Um, and there's also the Vermilion uh, songs, Part 1 and Part 2, which are kind of sad. Um, power ballads um, going into them. Uh, man, I forgot. I feel like I'm forgetting something. There's this one other song on there. I'm drawing a blank. Uh, t duality, of course. Duality, nothing. Can't go wrong with that song either. But all in all, the rest of it, I mean, I would say it's very middle of the road compared to the other albums, um, which we'll get into. What, Iowa and their debut is what I'll get into later. I feel like they're above Volume 3 Subliminal Verses, which I believe is a very controversial placement, but I'm just going to roll with it. I'm just going to leave it at B tier. Up next, we got... Excuse me. Uh, the Great Chapter. We're going... I'm going to put that in the C tier. Great Chapter. Again, this, this is the... Album after All Hope Is Gone, I believe. It came out in 2014. Uh, another one of the songs that first got me into Slipknot, The Devil and I. Can't go wrong with that. Um, however, the rest of this album is very lackluster. Um, however, I wouldn't say it's as lackluster or mediocre as um, All Hope Is Gone. It's got some, it's got a Kill Pop in it. It's got XIX. Um, and not to mention, this is a tribute album to their fallen bassist, Paul Gray. Um, and he was one hell of a bass, bass player. Um, it's said that uh, to see him go. But other than that, it's just a very, neat, uh, I would say average. It's not their best. However, it's not their worst. It's going in the C tier. Um, next, we got Iowa. Now... This is probably my favorite out of all of the Slipknot records, and it's going in the A tier. It's not their best, but it's very good. It's very close to getting up there. Um, what to say about this one? Um, excuse me, I have to burp real quick. Oh, whew, had me some Santiago's for dinner right now. It's pretty good. I had a steak burrito. Uh, what was it saying? Uh, Slip, uh, Iowa. I'm sorry. This is very thrashy. It's very. It has a lot of death metal in it, which I really like. I mean, Slipknot's known for that. They they like to fuse different genres with the hip hop, the the death metal, the thrash. You know, all all that juicy stuff, um, which is why they were lumped in with the whole new metal scene. But this, um, I believe, is their heaviest record out of all of them. It's got bangers on that. We got people equal shit. Um, we also got uh, the Heretic Anthem. Uh, we got Disaster Piece, My Plague, Everything Ends, uh, New Abortion, uh, Metabolic, uh, Left Behind. It's just, there's just a lot of good songs. And not to mention the the chaotic close closer to this album, Iowa. Um, this album does cap at over an hour, um, which makes it a very good listen. And um, I think it's admired by headbangers alike, alike or metalheads or whatever you want to call it. It's a very... Um, respected album in the Slipknot category or catalog, and I very much love this record. However, it's not their best, which we'll get into in a very short amount of time. Up next, we got "We Are Not Your Kind." This is very—I mean, there's a lot of hype with this album. You know, I remember listening to the songs that came out 
uh, slowly over time, and then the album came out, all that jazz came out in 2019, last year. I believe I'm going to put it in the C tier, right next to the Great Chapter. It doesn't feel the same compared to the other Slipknot records. Um, we know that uh, Paul Gray is not in uh, the Great Chapter. However, I think we're losing not only Paul Gray, but um, Chris Fenn, one of the, uh, the per percussionists of this album. And we also got Joey Jordison, which is probably one of the better drummers in the metal genre. He's gone from that album. I don't... I don't know what his deal was. I haven't. I don't read what happened to Slipknot all that much, other than Paul Gray dying and whatnot. However, Jay Weinberg is an okay replacement. Um, I've seen lots of stuff on Instagram that they're nominating him for best drummer, um, which I think is a little bit over the top. I mean, he just got in Slipknot. I mean, it's a sweet gig he got, but I don't really think he's better than Joey Jordison. And this album, in general. Um, there's definitely, I mean, I remember Corey Taylor even saying, all the way back when, um, the single All Out Life came out, or maybe it was a little shortly after that, but he said it was going to be Iowa Levels of Heavy, which I was hyped for, and I was really looking forward to this album, however, it did not live up to that Iowa heaviness potential, um, or at least that's what I think, other people might have different opinions. There's some pretty good songs on there, uh, not to mention it's got Unsainted, um, I really like the song Nero Forte every come, every time that song comes on. I just bang my head like No Tomorrow. Um, Birth of the Cruel is pretty good, and Solway Firth is pretty good. Um, Spiders is kind of an edgy song. Uh, it's kind of a slow burn, kind of a going, along with many of the other ones. However, I mean, although it's a solid release, um, it did ch top the charts. It was successful. I don't really think it was their greatest album to date. However, I... I would probably listen to this more than The Great Chapter or All Hope is Gone, for sure. And moving on, we got the Almighty debut album. Now, all the Slipknot fans, they should agree with me on this one. There should be no controversy with my placement on this album. It's instantly going into the God tier, the Almighty S tier. This album was, obviously, it's Slipknot's first album. Uh, this is a band hungry for attention. It's got, front to back, this album's just relentless. Absolutely love this record. Um, I will never forget seeing the live performance of the song Spit It Out at the 2009 Download Festival on YouTube. Um... That was phenomenal. I mean, I know I look that stuff up all the time. I love watching metal bands play live. Uh, not to mention, well, obviously, the uh, song Spit It Out is on there. Uh, we obviously got the classic uh, Wait and Bleed. Um, we also got Sick, Eyeless, um, Scissors, Ior, or Eeyore, sorry. Uh, Surfacing, I believe, is one of their best songs. Um, it's just a solid catalog or a, a solid um, song choice. I'm not wording this right. It's a solid album. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> like I said, I'm trying not to repeat myself. It's a solid album. It's a very solid album. Hold on, am I recording? Thank God I'm recording. And we're just under 15 minutes hopefully i can wrap this up pretty soon but this album is probably slipknot's masterpiece it's got everything a slipknot fan would want or any og slipknot fans would absolutely would consider this their best it's got death metal it's thrash it's got speed it's even got those hip-hop elements um most vibrantly seen and the song spit it out there's just nothing bad about this record it's very good it's got all the original members on there um, and I believe this is an absolute staple among all of the new metal albums that came out during this time, especially during 1999 when everything was kind of, you know, with all the copycat bands coming out. Um, if you have not listened to this album, I would highly suggest you do, and I will listen to it all the way through. I know um, there are some people that just listen to songs off of these albums, and I, and I get that, but I mean... 
I'd say you're missing out if you're not listening to this album. It's definitely a top pick for me among my um, my top lists of all-time albums. I should make an all-time albums list if I can, if I have the time. Um, that'll probably be a next um, video I will discuss about. Just an all-time favorite albums. Um, not just metal in general, but just in other genres as well, like uh, rock, classic rock, um, pop even. Heck, even rap. I can even put that in there. Just a diversity of stuff on there. I think that'd be pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. Um, or don't. No one ever comments in my videos. But yeah, that here, right here is my Slipknot tier list. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, hopefully I didn't cause controversy. I did kind of... Uh, not like here I am doing it again. I'm like I'm in a loss for words. Like I can't speak right now. However, I'm just going to call it a day. Hopefully it turns out all right. Hopefully you all have a good night. Um, other than that, peace out, homies.